I characterize a confined space or container as a place not intended for regular access by people. It's surrounded on all sides and can only be entered at special access points. An example of this is a tank or silo. Of course, it could also be a pit in the ground. These types of location are accessible for maintenance work as well as checks and inspections. The American Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, speaks about permit-required confined spaces. This means people need a permit to be allowed to enter because there are a number of associated hazards. An oxygen content of less than 20.9% in the air. This refers to the occurrence of hazardous gaseous substances, which can damage health and lead to unconsciousness or asphyxiation. This refers to the occurrence of flammable gases in concentrations that can lead to fires or explosions. Furthermore, confined spaces and containers may contain liquids or bulk goods in which a person can drown or sink. I have to describe these containers, and I have to say where they are and how many there are, and I have to provide instructions to staff working in these areas. The operators of such facilities are obliged to produce operational instructions or work instructions. The majority of operators know what they have at their facility. As such, the operator should be able to assess what I am working with. The appropriate measurement devices must also be provided. The number of people who can work in such a container at the same time is determined. Dangers would arise if I were to ignore these regulations. The operator is also obliged to ensure rescue procedures are in place for this sort of hazardous work. It must therefore be ensured that the people working in the container can be quickly and easily retrieved.